Hello, high-level users. We've got a really exciting update for ChatGPT within workflow automations. We now have the ability to use ChatGPT 4.0 and 4.0 mini. I'm gonna be walking you through how to use all of the different types of ChatGPTs within automations, what their differences are, and how you can best apply them to your business. Let's get started. So in any and all workflows, we've got the GPT powered by OpenAI action. We're all familiar with this. This is our ability to reference ChatGPT and use it within our automations, and it's a super powerful tool. But um, we're going to be talking about the three different types of models that we have for ChatGPT within high level. We currently have default set for GPT 4.0, but we also have 4 Turbo and 4.0 Mini. Now, what are the differences between these three different types of ChatGPTs? I'm going to walk you through all of them right now. So GPT 4.0 is kind of your mid-range GPT. It's going to be able to handle most conversations. It's going to do pretty well. It's going to be balanced and have a good idea of contextual understanding and its ability to craft responses to whatever prompts you give it. Again, if we're thinking about this on a tiered level, 4.0 is your mid-tier. And these are going to be costing three cents per execution. One step above 4.0 is 4.0 Turbo. Turbo is a little bit of a beefed up version of 4.0. It's got a better ability to handle complex queries. It can handle more complex prompts and it can more accurately respond to questions, especially when we're giving it lots of context and lots of things to read off of. 4.0 Turbo is gonna be your best bet. Now this is also going to be three cents per execution and 4.0 Turbo will be slightly slower than 4.0 or 4.0 Mini because it is handling larger prompts and it's doing a lot more thinking on the back end. Now 4.0 Mini is going to be our most affordable version of ChatGPT4. It's going to be a lot faster. It's going to still be able to handle most responses, but it's going to be best for simple prompts where there's not as much contextual understanding for the GPT to actually reference. This is going to be our most efficient GPT, but it's also going to be able to handle less complex things, so keep that in mind. Now you'll be able to select between these three models right within the GPT powered by OpenAI action right at the top at the model section. What I'm going to do really quickly for you is show a quick demo of all three of them and show you exactly what types of responses we're going to be getting from them. For a simple prompt that we're giving it, which is to craft a response to this message, we're giving it very limited instructions and we're telling all three of them the exact same thing so we can see the difference between three different models. The message that we're crafting a response to is, hey, I'm thinking about traveling to Paris this winter. What I'm going to do is run this workflow and then I'll show you all three different responses so we can look through the differences. So we've got the three responses right here in our contact notes. If you look between 4.0 Turbo and 4.0 Mini, you're going to see a couple of different differences between the three different responses. Again, this is a pretty simple query, but I wanted to show you that the three of them will respond slightly differently. So 4.0 is probably one of our best ones. It's got a good idea of contextual understanding. It ran through quickly and it even brought up some specific locations for our imaginary Paris trip. 4.0 Turbo responded with a little bit of a longer response. Remember that's the one that's going to include more context. It's going to be a little bit more complicated and take a little bit longer to process, but it's still pretty similar to 4.0, just slightly beefed up. And 4.0 Mini ran through the quickest. Still for a response like this, this is honestly enough because this is a pretty simple simple prompt. But as you can see, 4.0 Mini didn't reference any specific locations or anything, so it didn't take the time to go through that sort of context. It just gave a little bit more of a general response. So as you can see, there's a couple of differences between your different GPT models, but especially with the additions of 4.0 Mini and 4 Turbo, we've got a lot of functionality and a lot of ways that we can mess around customizing our chat GPTs so we can get the right responses to suit our customer needs and our business needs. If you have any questions about the different GPTs, leave a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching.